This had to be reviewed because it's got such a following currently. This is Oud for Greatness from Initio Parfums. In this Saffron review video, I'm going to review Oud for Greatness. And you're also going to have a chance at winning a full bottle of Oud for Greatness if you are a subscriber of my channel from the USA. So if you're curious to discover this one, please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time landing on my channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, and of course, always participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So this is a fragrance that was launched last year, 2018. And I specifically requested this fragrance to be sent to me for this review because even though I have no place here in the States near me in San Francisco to go uh, preview this fragrance. It is currently being sold at Bergdorf Goodman's. But when I was in London, Selfridges, there was such a crowd around this fragrance. It was just very, very uh, intriguing to me to find out why this fragrance has such a following. So as I said, I requested this fragrance for review purposes. The opinions are all my own. If you do end up winning the fragrance, you're going to receive a tester bottle like I received here. So Oud for Greatness is a 2018 launch. This is a unisex fragrance and as mentioned, it is currently sold at Bergdorf Goodman's and the fragrance retails for $350 for a 90 ml bottle like this. And this bottle is beautiful as you can see. It's really, really gorgeous. What do we have for notes here? For notes, you've got lavender, saffron, and nutmeg at the top. In the heart notes, you've got natural oud wood, natural agar wood oil, and then you also have in the base notes patchouli and musks. Not a lot going on with this fragrance, and you do experience that, but it's very, very complex fragrance from the wearing experience, but as far as notes go, it doesn't seem like that. Uh, the other thing I want to mention also is that there is no relationship between Initio Parfums and Parfums de Marly. Uh, the only relationship there is, is their distributorship here in the States. They are distributed by the same folks. So what's Oud for Greatness all about? So for me, the fragrance starts off with lots of lavender and lots of saffron. Those are the two main players at the top. You experience lots of lavender, but then saffron is starting to take over. The saffron is big, it's spicy, and it's leathery. That nutmeg is there to give it a little bit of a sweeter twist, but for me, it's saffron all the way. Big big note here and it complements what you're going to experience in the heart because in the heart it's very very woody you've got that natural oud wood and then you've got the agar wood oil so that saffron gives it a leathery touch with this oud and agar wood two kinds a very very unique experience but for me this fragrance is not necessarily your typical um, very pungent um, slightly animalic or even overly animalic kind of wood this is a, a kind of a, a oud that um, is a fairly easy to wear and also more on the savory side rather than the sweet side because the fragrance does have sweet touches and those sweet touches are coming perhaps from that lavender and the nutmeg, but mostly the fragrance is very, very savory. Um, the oud, it's all about the oud note, the oud and the agarwood in the heart. Even though you're in the base notes now and you're experiencing the patchouli and the musks, musks and it's very very sexy at this time uh, i find oud for greatness to be a very very sexy fragrance a very sexy oud fragrance um, very musky <laughs> leathery oud fragrance so you're in the base with the patchouli and the musks but it's still all about the two oud notes the oud wood and the agar wood oil the natural agarwood oil. This is a very oudy fragrance and you've got to love oud. But as I said, it's not one of those overly pungent, overly animalic, uh, overly oudy fragrances. It's to me a crowd pleaser type of an oud fragrance. Very easy to wear. Um, I love it. It's, it's so, so good. I can see why the crowds were big around this fragrance when I was at Selfridges. And uh, one more time I'll say, I don't see this fragrance anywhere here near me, so I, I, do, I never experienced it until I saw it at Selfridges. And I was surprised to see so many people asking and looking and smelling at Oud for Greatness. It's a great release, one that you should definitely check out. And if you don't know where to go check out, like me, because I don't have a Bergdorf Goodman near me, we do have the giveaway. As I said, there's a link to Saffron in the info box. Click that 
head over there and follow their rules to find out how to win yourself a bottle of Oud for Greatness. Please do that. Good luck with the giveaway and then come back to the video here and I'll, let me know what your thoughts are on Oud for Greatness. Have you tried it? Are you curious to try it? Try it? Do you know Initio Parfums? Do you like Oud fragrances? Please put that down so that I can find out and we can get a conversation started. Other than that guys, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye.